All right, hi folks. Uh, today, what I'm going to be showing you guys is uh, doing touch-ups on my Tesla. Uh, I bought this kit online from Tesla. It's about 70 bucks plus taxes, so a little on the pricey side. Uh, but it's kind of needed just because of the fact that I do have a few scratches here, which I'm going to show close up in a sec. No idea how it happened. Um, sentry mode did not catch anything at all, but it really looks like something may have fallen onto the car or something. So. Uh, I'm gonna have to touch it up anyhow because it's gonna be cheaper to use this thing rather than uh, going to a body shop to repair it. So let's have a look closer at the damage. So before we start, I'm just gonna show you what came in the kit because it is a little more comprehensive than some other kits. Uh, so basically what we have here is got the, uh, got all the paint, we got a blender, we also got a squeegee here, uh, microfiber cloths, and also a wiping cloth as well too. And I think there should be a couple paint brushes in here somewhere. Yep, right here. Of uh, different sizes, just I guess so, to, depending on how bad the scratch is, but um, I'm not too sure which one to use. We'll see which one is probably best. So let's get to it. All right, so you can see that there's three small scratches there. Uh, your guess is as good as mine what actually caused that but there is slight indentation as well too, but I'm not gonna worry too much about that. I think it's just mostly the scratches I wanna get out because obviously that's pretty deep. It's gone right through the, the uh, top coat of paint there and, and right down. So I uh, gotta touch it up and um, I have not done this before. So this will be a first and hopefully I don't screw it all up. Okay, so first step we're gonna be making sure we do is clean things off, which I already have. Uh, I've also got the glove on which they provided, which is nice. Um, so just going to make sure everything's nice and clean there. Now there are instructions online on how to do this, uh, but they have provided instructions here too. Uh, main thing is for the paint is you got to make sure that you match it to your color of the vehicle. Um, it's really easy because all they have is a paint coat on the side of your car. Uh, so you can make sure that that matches properly when you purchase the right one. All right, so I'm just going to apply a bit of paint here. This stuff does smell carcinogenic and it is poison too so make sure you don't do anything silly with it. I'm going to probably touch up the uh, bigger one there first. So all you're supposed to be doing is just putting it next to it slightly, not necessarily directly on it. And then after that using the squeegee you're just going to kind of blend it over top of it. So you can see over top I've covered it up now. Uh, Hope that's an okay job. At least the patch is kind of covered, so we'll make sure that that's going to be also done on the other ones. It doesn't take too long for this to dry, so we want to make sure we do it relatively quickly too. But I think the key thing is making sure that we're not putting too much, because it could bubble as well too, which I don't want to happen. I've seen a lot of bad touch-up jobs where it's basically bubbled over top of it, so squeegee here will help a bit. I'm putting just the final touches on the bottom there. Now this stuff is getting a little sticky so I want to make sure I'm going to work a little faster. Because the way it is on the edge there. This doesn't look very pretty at all, but hopefully after I do a bit of blending, I'm gonna have to probably put another layer on. This stuff dries within three to four minutes, so we'll come back and check to see how it's going. Okay, so it's been about three or four minutes. The paint has dried up. You see it's no problem there. Uh, one of the things that most other kits don't have is this blending solution. So this is going to hopefully clean off all that extra stuff that I put around there that was not very nicely put in. So just going to use a bit of moistening here and rub around the sides. And you can basically see that it is kind of coming off pretty easily. I'm doing it just so that we can make sure that it's not going to obviously go within the crack itself because that's the important part that we want to make sure that stays there. So 
This is actually working incredibly well compared to a lot of the other ones I've seen before. Okay, and after that's complete, see there has pulled off some paint. And now we want to make sure we buff this stuff off pretty quickly. Wow, that's actually not too bad. Now I think I will have to apply a few more rounds of this stuff because it hasn't quite filled up the crack well enough. So I'm just going to clean off a bit more of that paint on the edges there. One thing they do say is just let this stuff work. So don't scrub it in. Don't push too hard on it. Just let it kind of work its way onto the paint that's over there. buff it away again well it's filled up the color but uh, definitely can see the scratches are still there so I'm gonna wait a bit and I'm gonna try a few more rounds of this on top so that I can see if I can get rid of those scratches completely All right, so this is probably as good as it's gonna get. Uh, if you're anything like me and a bit of a perfectionist, obviously it's never good enough. But uh, realistically, you don't really have much choice, otherwise you'd have to repaint the whole uh, door itself. So this is the next best option, which at least covers up the scratches. Am I always gonna see it? Yeah, probably. Will Ada notice it? Hmm, even worse. She's even more of a, an eye for this type of stuff. But if I'm standing a little further back, like say for example, all the way over here. So there you have it. That's the uh, touch up job for the Tesla. Uh, it's probably not as good as I wanted it to be and hopefully I haven't wasted your time either. But at least now you know what to expect, uh, when to use it. And I guess also the benefit is that I still have some touch up paint and blender left so I can always use it in the future again fingers crossed uh, to redo this one or anywhere else on the car as well too. Thanks again for watching and remember to like and subscribe for our channel.